Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the symmetries of a parallelogram. So here we have four different parallelograms, A, B, C, and D. A, we know nothing about other than the fact that these two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel. B is a parallelogram in which all four sides are of the same length, commonly referred to as a rhombus. C is a parallelogram in which all four of the interior angles are 90 degrees, a rectangle. And D is a parallelogram that combines the properties of B and C. All four sides are the same length, all interior angles are 90 degrees, a square. So let's talk about the different types of symmetries that a parallelogram can have and figure out which one of these has those properties. So the most common is 180 degrees rotational symmetry. This means is that you can take the shape, rotate it 180 degrees, and get the same shape back again in the same orientation. And in fact, all of these parallelograms have that property. You stick a point right in the middle, and rotate the whole thing around it. Once you get to 180 degrees, you'll get the exact same shape again every time. A, B, C, and D. Great. Well, what about 90 degree rotational symmetry? Meaning we only rotate the shape one quarter turn. Do any of these have that property? The answer is, is yes, the square has that property. You can rotate it 90 degrees and get another square with the same orientation. Same is not true of the rectangle, for example. If you rotate a horizontal rectangle only 90 degrees, you'll get a vertically oriented rectangle. So this property only exists for parallelograms of type D. Alrighty. What about lines of symmetry? Vertical and horizontal. Well, for example, if we take class C here, we can draw a line right down the middle to get an axis of symmetry. And we can also do the same with the horizontal line. The same cannot be said of A and B. I'll show you just to demonstrate. Clearly, if you fold this over the axis of symmetry, you're not going to get each point to line up correctly. So this is only true for C and D those parallelograms that have 90 degree angles. It's true for C and for D. And finally, what about diagonal lines of symmetry? Ones that run from one vertex to the opposite vertex. Here the square wins again. That is, this is the only type of parallelogram that has that property. You can fold this over, and you'll get two triangles that overlap exactly. This is the, again, square is a very wonderful parallelogram in that it displays all of these properties. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the symmetries of a parallelogram.